I feel like I talk about the journey to the forever home method a lot in step one and step two, but I very rarely talk about step three because it's kind of like, it's custom, you know? So step three usually should be the step where we're already, you know, the house is already prepared. Uh, we're already financially ready to start moving forward. And then step three normally is the home search process. So at this point, you know, we're, we've got everything we need lined up in a row to get the perfect house uh, under contract, basically. But it's, it's kind of customized because sometimes I find myself in a situation where it's like the chicken and the egg thing. Like 2022 uh, and 2021 homes were selling, you know, just like that, two or three days. So we would um, find the house first and then put the house on the market. So for 2023, it's been slightly different. Step three of my Journey to Forever Home method is really dependent on how fast we think your home will sell. So now in many cases, it makes more sense to actually put your home on the market first for step three and then and then look for homes once your house is actually listed. The reason is we start to get a feeling for how long your house is gonna take to sell when we actually activate the listing. Even though I've done all the research and I've, I've looked at the days on the market for similar homes in the area, I've really analyzed their presentation and compared it to our presentation to maximize you know, your time frame. It's still not totally for sure that your house is gonna sell in two days like it did in 21 and 22. So um, we might be looking at two weeks, we might be looking at two months. So now step three of that process is just kind of analyzing, you know, the timeframes and then adjusting accordingly.